All right, what's up, guys? So it's Devon here again, and this is another story time with Devon. Now, this time, this story is a little bit different. I usually do like comedies or trying to make it more light when I do these things, but today, man, I'm gonna just do it more real. I kind of want a lot of these stories to be more real and more, you know, more accurate. Because a lot of, you know, of YouTubers, they try to exaggerate. Anyways, <laughs> keep yapping a lot, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so this is a story when, okay, I'm gonna just tell it straight up. I was in fifth grade, having a good time back then, you know, me and my friends. That was when you were in one class. You didn't have to go from class to class to class. You just had one class all day, which now that I think about it, that's fucking crazy having one class for like six hours a day. Fuck. But anyways, yeah, one class. So it was me and just like four of my boys that were like pretty much the, the most popular kids in the class because we kind of like roast each other and, you know, people didn't really want to get made fun of. So they kind of, you know, drawn to us more, you know, we kind of became popular just because, you know, we, we were roasting. So anyways, uh, we were roasting together. We were best friends. It was me. It's my friend Brandon. Uh, I think my friend Charlie and then um, my friend Anthony. And then so, okay, we go to class, roasting each other one day and... Okay, so we go for field trips, you know, just all kind of stuff like that. And then one day we go into class and our teacher's kind of like, he's, he's very serious. I mean, he's kind of serious all the time, but not really. We kind of can make him like, you know, laugh and giggle and shit like that. But one day he was really, really serious. So we're like, huh, it's weird. And he, he sat us all down and he, he, he was looking at all of us. He was like... Okay, guys, um, the other day, because we, before we had just came back from a field trip, so all of us, we said, what's up, we say goodbye to each other, and so we, we go to, back to class, and they shut us down, he said, he's like, okay, guys, um, I gotta tell you guys something, yesterday, Anthony was playing basketball, it was like at 9 o'clock at night, like, I think it was like at a park, and then they said it was him and his brothers, and then... They said that he, uh, they came up to him. It's about a couple guys or gang members. They came up to him. They asked him where he was from. He said, you know, I'm not from nowhere. And I don't know what, what the other guys said around him. I thought, I think that he was the only one who said something. And then so he got shot and then he died. Now let me remind you, we were in fifth grade. We were in fifth grade. So, you know, that's my first time really, really being exposed, you know, which just murder for somebody that's really close to me now i mean at that time i kind of really wasn't like knowing what the fuck was going on like i really didn't kind of grasp it because i'm like dead like what and then so like he gave us like a moment to just like think about it he was like okay everybody just face forward take a second and then just 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 think and i'm like fuck you know some of us was crying and like I was just just looking, and um, me and my one, me and my friend Charlie, one of the, one of the four other, one of the other four guys, we were just looking at each other. We were like, "Fuck, like, well, who's gonna cry first? Me and him were just staring at each other, like, "Fuck, is it gonna be you? Is it gonna be me crying? Is it gonna be you crying?" And then um, we didn't cry. I think um, Charlie, I think he like just had um, one tear. But I'm just like, "Fuck, man!" Like, and, and Anthony, he was my fucking boy. Like, I I was talking to him on the phone. Like, we was just like, and he was actually he was the one that was the funniest like he made fun of us the most i would say in the whole class he was the first my my boy brandon was the second i was the third and my other boy charlie was the fourth person like that can make fun of anybody and then just having him like die like that shit was just, i don't know like shit can't prepare you for that you know in the fifth grade now the crazy part is that wasn't the only time i experienced death kind of like every other like year I experienced some, some type of death like that, like every other school, you know, I still sometimes just think about like, I can still see his face. I can still sometimes hear his voice. Like, at, I don't know, I, I wasn't ready for that. So one thing that kind of changed my life was just having him die, like a close friend like that, you know, at our graduation, you know, the news were kind of there. So, you know, we're little kids at a graduation, you know, having big old cameras, you know, in our faces, you know, the reporter kind of sneaking down, trying to, you know, get a glimpse, you know, um, his brothers, 
his, his, he had a couple brothers. He had two brothers and his, his mother. They both, they all three of them showed up at, at the graduation. Um, you know, they, they were there. We just had a ceremony for him. We did the best we could just, you know, to give him a memory because he was definitely a key part of that class. Like, if he wasn't in that class, it wouldn't have been like half as, you know, uh, fun as it was. So, I don't know. I just wish I could have saw him like one more time. Like, at least one more time, especially now, like, I don't know, so much shit that I kind of wanted to talk to him about. But yeah, man, Anthony, man, miss you, man, love you, man. You know, actually, and if there was something that I could say to him, if, if I can, if I could still say, I'd say, um, I'd say I miss you, man, I'd say, um, hey. That was a fucking tragedy. You would have been a fucking star. I wish we could still like make fun of each other, like, <laughs> cause I I got a lot better. I'm sure you would have fucking still like killed us all again. Um, just thank you for 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 being my friend. Thank you for you know always being yourself. Like you never changed. You never you never like back down. You never you know you never been none of those things. You know you've always you know been funny, been on point, been loyal, been smart. You know even at that young age, I already knew we were like what. I don't know how we were in fifth grade. <laughs> well, yeah, anyways, that was a story time with Devon. Um, if you guys have any experiences like that at that type of young age, you know, yeah, I mean, and at that time too, I was kind of, you know, more worried about it because I was living like a, like a better life. Yeah, if you guys have any experiences like that, please leave it down in the comments below 